heard a new battle over religious freedom and LGBT rights in Arizona. Two Christian artists say they've been ordered to create artwork for same-sex weddings and face jail time if they publicly speak out about their decision not to do those services. Those artists are here live to discuss the case next. Two Christian artists in Arizona are being ordered to create artwork for same-sex weddings and say they'll face jail time if they publicly speak about their personal objections to lending their talents to same-sex ceremonies. The Arizona Supreme Court has announced it will hear their case in January. The artists joining me now, Brianna Kosky and Joanna Duca, owners of Brush and Nib, along with their lawyer from Alliance Defending Freedom, Kristen Wagner. Thank you all for being with us tonight. Thank, Thank you, you for having, having us. us. All right, Joanna and Brianna, I don't know which one of you wants to take this, but I want to start with asking you, have you been approached about uh, a situation or by a couple that you felt like you couldn't do the work for their wedding? Um, and if not, why did you decide to go ahead and challenge the law anyway? We decided to challenge this law because every day that we are wanting to create art consistent with who we are is a day that we are facing potential jail time and fines. And that was a huge risk and a risk that we could not take. And we believe strongly in the right of artists to create freely. So we knew we had to challenge this. Okay, and Kristen, you are helping them with this. I want to read something from the attorney who's representing Phoenix, and this is a Phoenix ordinance. He says, they want the court system to give them a blank check to refuse service to any same-sex couple that's requesting custom wedding products. There's no principled way to distinguish between discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation versus discrimination on other bases such as race or even religion. Well, where do I start, Shannon? I think, first of all, what needs to be pointed out is that Brianna and Joanna make their decisions on what art to create based on what the message is, not the person, and who the person is. That's a critical distinction. And in terms of comparing this to racism or anything else, that's a bankrupt analogy. It's designed to shut down the debate. And thankfully, the Supreme Court has recognized that and rejected that analogy in both Obergefell, the same-sex marriage decision, and in Masterpiece Cake Shop. Mm -hmm. The case that you all had just uh, that was decided just this past summer, months ago. Um, all right, Brianna and Joanna, let me ask you, the, the judge has said essentially there is this part of the law that says you cannot make a statement saying that you won't serve same-sex couples. Um, in the appellate court ruling in Arizona, the judge said this, posting language on a website telling potential customers that a business will discriminate based on sexual orientation is part of the act of sexual orientation discrimination itself. This act is not protected by the First Amendment. He went on to say, all Although appellants are prohibited from posting discriminatory statements about their intent to refuse services for same-sex weddings, they may post a statement endorsing their belief that marriage is between a man and a woman. So you can't talk about not serving people, but he does say you can talk about your belief in traditional marriage versus same-sex marriage. Does that solve the problem for you? Uh, no, it does not. Uh, first of all, let me say we serve all people, so I want to say that to begin with. Um, but that does not solve the problem. We are grateful that the court recognized that Phoenix was wrong to pass a law saying that we cannot express our beliefs about marriage, but they need to do more, and we're anxious for the Arizona court to rule and uh, stand up for the rights of artists to speak and create freely through their work. And Kristen, obviously you argued this case uh, at the Supreme Court, the Cake Bakers case, and Justice Kagan asked questions about, well, where do you draw the line? Hairstylists, florists, cake bakers, where do you say that somebody has an artistic talent that they can't be forced to serve someone? Well, if the First Amendment protects anything, it has to protect the author's pen and the painter's brush. And that's exactly what's at issue here with Brianna and Joanna. Phoenix's position is so extreme, Shannon, that they're saying you can force someone to write a message that violates their core conviction. That's the heart of the First Amendment that they're violating. Okay, Kristen, Brianna, and Joanna, we're going to keep up on your case. January 22nd is the date. Um, keep us up to date. We know that the uh, world will be watching and potentially we'll see at the Supreme Court as well. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you.